so working on a video and I forgot to tell simple screen recorder to turn off so as you can see 24 gigs of data it's a little bit too big for a real short video and you can see this video showing up right here it's not bad so what I'm gonna do is show you how to use FF MPEG how to cut this video down to something more manageable because I actually don't need three or four hours of video recording to do a small simple video on uh, removing the CD-ROM drive from update so here we go so uh, this is that 24 gig file right here and what we're going to do is do FFmpeg-i and then it's called CD tab this is the input file and do SS and then where do we want to start chopping this video at? Well it's going to be at the first second and then we're going to go two then I don't need it to be anywhere near an hour but I do want to take the first 30 minutes and then we're just gonna copy this out of the original file and we just call it uh, I don't know, CD update dash short dot mkv there we go FFmpeg is such a powerful tool. People don't give it as much credit as they need to. It's so simple to use, yet powerful. It's not gooey. That's okay. If this works, I don't need to do anything else uh, for this video except for drop it into DaVinci Resolve, clean it up, do some audio work, maybe a little bit. And there you go. I got the first, what did I say, 30 minutes of this video. So that's at uh, 60 frames per second. Hey, that's simple. I don't need to have uh, DaVinci Resolve clogged up with a 24 gig file. That's ridiculous. My fault for, uh, you know, not hitting stop record when I should have. You know, when you come back in from doing stuff outside and go, oh man. Just hoping your uh, hard drive is not full. So what I'll do now is, uh, as always, I'll review my file in DaVinci Resolve. If it works good, I'll delete the larger one. I won't need to archive that. And to be honest, I don't forget to do this that much. Um, probably This is probably like the second or third time I've ever forgot to uh, stop a recording. Uh, another one was a three hour long meeting. That one need to be large. And what I did was I actually took that large file, cut it down in FFmpeg, and took it from 60 frames a second down to 30. 60 frames a second is what I normally record at. Um, it looks a little bit better when you're editing. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna export it in 60 frames per second, but it gives me that option. Um, that's all for this video, quick tutorial on FFmpeg and uh, on the OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Thank you for uh, watching this quick tutorial and please like and subscribe if you wanna see more content. Thank you, bye.